Welcome back to Art Class with Miss Chris. This week, we're gonna draw a simple anime face. Um, if you have not heard of the anime, anime is a Japanese style of drawing characters. And there's a lot of different ways to draw anime out there. And those of you that already do draw anime, I want you to make this project so unique and add your style in it and enjoy that. Um, because I could probably learn from you too by seeing your project. So have fun with this. And I'm gonna teach um, a basic way to draw anime and then you're gonna be able to put your own personality on in this drawing. Uh, the clothes that you pick, the type of hair that you add and so on. So let's draw anime. All right, the first thing that we need to do to draw an anime face is we need a circle. And this is gonna start our project. I actually found this in my kitchen. It's just like a ramekin. I'm gonna use this to help me make a perfect circle. Um, I can hand, I usually hand draw this too, but if you can find like something um, to make a good circle, that'd be great. Kind of like we did when we did that Kandinsky project. And I said, go around the house and find lids and stuff. So I'm gonna use this um, to make a circle. Now I'm using today pretty basic supplies. There's my circle. I need a number two pencil. And I want um, an eraser. I want my 6B because I am gonna have fun with a little shading today. And I have a blending stick. So we're going back to 6B if you have it. If you don't have a 6B pencil, just use a number two pencil. If you don't have a blending stick, no, no big deal. But if you do, grab them today. And then a good eraser. All right, so now I have a basic circle. So what we wanna do with anime is now we wanna make the jawline and the chin line. So I'm gonna come down from the side of the circle, the line like that, okay? Basic. Do the same thing on the other side, try to make it even, as even as you can. Okay, now from here, we're gonna to go to the chin. Actually, one thing I want you to do before you do this, this will help, and I'm sorry I forgot to say this. I need you to make a line that kind of goes through the middle of your circle and down. See how I did that? Add that in here. That's gonna help us create symmetry. Okay, sorry, back to our face. So a line down here and a line down here. And then we're gonna make a line that goes here and a line that goes here. So this is the basic shape of an anime face. All right, now we're going to make some guidelines. So I'm gonna come about right here and I'm gonna make a nice soft line like this, okay? I'm gonna go above it about right here and I'm gonna make a line. Now the eyes in anime are big, kind of like when we did the Margaret Keene big eye project with the cats. These eyes are also really big. So this will kind of remind you of that project a little bit. All right, so we have two guidelines, all right? So this is gonna help us create an ear shape on either side. Why don't we do the ear shape now too? So I'm gonna come out here and I'm just gonna come around. Oh, there's my dogs, probably the mailman. And then I'm gonna come on the other side and I'm gonna try to make it in the same place and I'm gonna create an ear shape. Ears of my anime face. Now there are some differences in male and female with the anime um, face. Um, I'm gonna kind of work on more of a female character, but I'm gonna, as I teach you and go along, I'm gonna give you ideas, say you wanna make uh, a male character. So I'll give you advice on that as we go through. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna focus in this area right here and here. And we're gonna work on eyes. So here's the center, right? Now we wanna give a little space between the eyes. So I'm gonna actually kind of make a soft line here. See how I did that? And I'm gonna look at that distance and I'm gonna make a soft line right here. About the same distance. Because one thing with eyes is if you make eyes too um, close together, they don't look right or too far apart. So you want like, this distance and this distance to be similar when developing your eye, eyes, so um, they look correct. All right, so I'm gonna start with my first anime eye. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the top of the eye. It's gonna come like this, okay? Like a curve. And then from this part, it's gonna, right here, I'm gonna shoot down here. Okay, see how I did that? I'm gonna go on the other side and try to do the same thing. I'm gonna come about right here, big eyes. Boy, I love that Margaret Keene's art. If you guys have time, look her up. Look at all her art, it's so amazing. And an eye part that goes down, okay? So that's just the beginning. Now, I'm going to make at the bottom here, I'm gonna make an area that kind of looks like this. And I'm gonna make an area that kind of looks like this. I don't know if um, any of you have done the anime um, before, but it's fun. Okay, so in the middle of this, I'm going to make the eyeball big, all the way down. Now watch what I do right here. Right here, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna dip out and I'm gonna come down. See how I did that? Here, dip out and come down. I'm gonna come on this side. So this is just a line that goes straight down to the bottom, right? Just like that. This is gonna come out. What are we gonna do? We're gonna dip in and come down. Now you can kind of see how the anime is, eyes are starting to come forward. So I'm gonna give a little detail to my eyes later, okay? But I just wanna get the basics in. So I'm gonna come above the eye and I'm gonna make a simple Simple eyebrow, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Simple eyebrow. All right, so now what I wanna do is do the anime nose. Now the anime nose, see the circle right here and then how you haft it? Right there is where we're gonna put the nose. And the anime nose is very simple, it's just a dash. like so. Okay, we can all do that. And the anime mouth is also very simple. That's the neat thing about these um, Japanese characters is that they're simple, but they're very unique. Okay, and, and there's a lot of different ways to make anime eyes. There's like, oh, gosh, you could look them up. There's tons of different styles. I'm just kind of going with a basic style. Now the, the mouth is very simple as well. And you can change the expression. I'm gonna do a little bit of a grin. I'll do that. It's a very simple anime style mouth. Okay, so now that I have that, I am gonna put um, an area for the neck. So the neck isn't very wide, it's on the thinner side. So see, I have this line that's helping me create symmetry. When we, when I make art, you guys, I always use guidelines, pretty much. It really helps my eye see that this and this are similar sizes, so things don't look off. It doesn't have to be perfect when you make art, but when it looks off, it just messes up your drawing. Okay, so this ear I see is a little smaller than this ear. So I'm gonna correct that. I'm gonna correct that and make this ear a little wider. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna erase my guidelines. And I'm gonna get that 6B pencil and I'm going to bring this anime character to life. That's one thing I really enjoy about making faces is that it's like you make a circle, you make some guidelines, and next thing you know, you have this person that you've just made. And it's like a character that never existed before. It's just so much fun. I love drawing faces of all kinds. Okay. So now we have a general, you can see the anime look to it. Now let's go and bring this out. So I got my 6B, which gets super dark. 
which is gonna be a lot of fun for this. So I'm gonna start, my favorite part of anime is the eyes. And I'm gonna really bring some definition out. So I'm gonna go on the top of the eye, nice and dark. I'm gonna go on the top, and I'm gonna make a couple marks like this. This is kind of resembles a little bit of an eyelash. And right here, I'm gonna come out too. See, see how I did that? So it really darkens it. When I do one thing on one side, I'm gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. And I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm not a professional anime drawer, you know, but I've, I've watched a couple of YouTubes on it and um, I've learned a little bit, it's fun. Okay, at the bottom, I'm gonna darken. And I'm gonna give a couple little resemblances of eyelashes on the sides. I'm gonna go inside now, around the rim. Darken, skip that area, that's kind of like a highlight. And then this, this area comes down, this area comes down. You can make it almost come down to the bottom if you want. And then skip the area, and down, and around. Now I am going to make inside of this eye a pupil, okay? See how I did that? It's like a black circle inside. This is why I like those six Bs and which, why I recommend them to you because they can get so dark, like almost like black. It's so much fun. Now, honestly, all I'm going to do now inside the eye is get my blending stick and borrow some of that 6B from the pupil. Oh. And I'm gonna go around the edge and make just like that. Isn't that cool looking? And all I did was borrow the from the pupil. And I go around the edge and make that nice and dark. Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna erase a little bit right here. I'm gonna go into the eyebrow now. I'm gonna darken the eyebrow. I'm gonna go on the other side and darken it. And I think I'm gonna take my blending stick a little bit to this and just soften it. That's why I like the blending sticks. They they just take the um, lead of the pencil and they just it just moves it. It can really just create a nice shadow, a nice softening. Now anime, we're not gonna do shading and all that with anime. So we're just gonna let it just, you know, be blank. All right, let's go down. I'm gonna get my nose, I'm gonna darken my nose a little bit. Get down in the mouth. I'm gonna put under the mouth just a little, a little line like that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the top of the head alone because I'm gonna add hair, but I'm gonna come around and darken my face. Now, in the chin, it's kind of a spike. I'm gonna actually just curve it a little bit at the chin and not make it so sharp. Just a little curve, see how I did that? And then I'm gonna come into my neck area now, I'm not gonna go past shoulders, but you can. So I'm just gonna come out here. I'm gonna make some shoulders that kinda go down. Make some shoulders kinda go down. And on anime, sometimes you'll see the shoulder, like this is like the little, um, in our shoulder blades, a little bit right here and here. See those lines? All right, let's work on the ears. Then we're gonna go to the hair. Um, if you want to add clothes, you can. I'm just going to create kind of a V-neckline. But you can add all kinds of different clothes that you want. You could add a turtleneck. You could add T-shirts. I'm just going to kind of create a little shirt line like that. And I am going to erase a little bit because I don't want too much going on. I want this to be simple. Simple art is is great. I never mind it. 
Art doesn't always have to be so complex to be good. Simple and clean. Always look good in art. All right, so here we go. Ear. I'm going to come up and down. Ears are always strange when you're drawing art, when you're drawing faces, but um, these anime ears, I'm just going to make super simple. And then I'm going to go inside the ear. I'm going to make a line that comes up and curves. A line that comes up and curves. Done. All right. Now, anime hair. When you're drawing hair in anime, it's very spiky. Um, so I'm just going to start... Um, and I'm doing more of a female hair, but if you want to do a male hair, then don't make it as long. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to start with a few spikes. See how I did make it spiky? I'm going to come over here and make some spikes. I'm gonna come above that circle. See, so, yeah, that's the top of our circle. We're gonna come above that now and add some more hair. So if I, if you look at where I'm at right now with the hair, this could be hair for a male. Cause it kind of, it actually could, kind of looks like a boy right now. Put some spikes up here just for fun. But if I wanted to go a little further, I mean, there's a lot of um, boy anime characters um, that have longer hair too. So you could maybe if you wanted add like a few spikes down here. And then maybe I'm going to add a few more out here for my anime character. I was thinking it would be more of a female, but it's kind of looks like a male anime character. The fun thing with the spikes is just have them go everywhere, right? It could be any way. I don't have a plan right now. I'm not looking at a picture that's telling me what to do. I'm just kind of going with my character, bringing my character to life. It's fun. I think that's my style, kids. I think I just like, I just kind of go with it. Kind of a freeing feeling too it really is i hope you i hope you're enjoying these videos and you like making art yourself because i just love making art it's personal to you and the nice thing about art it, it, it is it's from you it's unique to you and who you are And it's powerful. So I'm just working the hair right now, kind of coloring it in, softening it, adding some more spikes where I see it. Okay. I'm going to get my blending stick at this point. I'm gonna erase, this looks a little sloppy down here. You see, that's why I always use a number two pencil because that 6B is like impossible to erase. It's so strong. So I always start with the number two pencil so I can erase it and then when I like what I have, I go and add that 6B. So I'm gonna go in with my spikes and my hair and I'm using that blending stick. If you don't have a blending stick, there's one other thing that works great, your finger. You go like that with your finger and it will do what the blending stick does. I just like the blending stick better because it's kind of a weird feeling to my finger for some reason. Alrighty, I'm getting there, right? Almost done. Oh, 
Okay, boys and girls, there's my anime character. I look forward to seeing yours as well. I hope you enjoy this project. Have a great day. Thank you.